Hello and welcome to Fight Now TV. I'm James Smith at the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas. Earlier tonight on Showtime Championship Boxing, the WBA lightweight title on the line, champion Richard Abril, the Cuban, now living in Miami, against Sharif Bogare, the Ugandan, now residing right here in Las Vegas. At the end, they go to the scorecards. Unanimous decision, Abril keeps his version of the lightweight championship in what can best be termed an ugly fight. Abril going in there with a height and reach advantage, was trying to use that. Bogare kept rushing in. Referee Russell Mora let things get totally out of control. In my opinion, he took points away from both fighters. Did a horrible job of managing this fight. But Abril, who of course last year when he fought here against Brandon Rios and was robbed of a decision, gets it done. I had it pretty lopsided, 118 to 111. At the end of the day, it was clearly Abril, the better boxer, the better stylist, the better puncher, and he keeps his championship. After the fight, we caught up with still champion Richard Abril. First off, uh, Richard, congratulations. Tell us about your performance. <laughs> Bueno, la pelea estuvo siempre a mi favor, gracias a Dios. A pesar de que el, el árbitro y Boere son, eh, o sea, que peleó sucio con los cabezazos. He said that he knew that the fight was a hit favor, but the job of the referee was horrible, and the way Boguer fights with the head make kind of a difficult fight. It, it has to feel good, though, getting a decision. You were here in Vegas last year, and I thought that you beat Rios, and you, you got robbed in that one. So it has to feel good to, to at least get the decision. Él dice que te tienes que sentir contento que aquí en Las Vegas, cual en la pelea de Rio, no, no te dieron una decisión de un gana que tuviste y, y coger una decisión aquí en Las Vegas frente a Bogare. Sí, claro, eso sí es verdad. Pero bueno, con la pelea con, con Comando Rio fue una pelea que en verdad hay que darle mérito a Comando Rio, un boxeador fuerte, es un boxeador que, que trabaja limpio y fue una pelea limpia con Menor Río, a pesar de, 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 de que los árbitros me vieron perder. He said that it's true that uh, the fight, the decision, but he's happy, but the fight with Brandon Rio was an easier fight because Brandon Rio was a cleaner fighter. And uh, with the decision, he's very happy over it, and the judges didn't see it that way. How, how difficult did the referee, Richard Moore, make it on you? One of the things I think that people don't understand is he's trying to just tie up, not hold, and they're causing, they're calling it holding. How much did the referee interfere with his performance? Él dice, ¿cuánto te afectó la, la, como el jefe estaba arbitrando la pelea? Porque no era que tú estabas aguantando, era que él venía por decir que si te, ¿cuánto te afectó? Eso, eso me sacó desde la pelea, me sacó del plan táctico que yo, que yo tenía, me frustró un poquito, porque a pesar que estaba metiendo cabezazo y aparte de los cabezazos, y, y, y él era que estaba agarrando, el árbitro me echaba las culpas a mí. He said that it, it was true, he took him out of his fight, fight game, and since the referee, he was coming in with a head and top of that, was, they took a point from him, and Boguer was the one uh, holding. All right, you tell him, I said, now I grew up in Miami and fought on Miami Beach. Tell him to use his damn jab more, and he'll get guys out of there. He said that he was born in Miami, and he said that he used the use more of the jab, and he said that he was more easy, and he was able to knock out the people more early. You have all the reason. You, you got all the reason there. And what's, what's next? ¿Qué hay para después? Bueno, lo, lo que venga, ya lo que venga. Me gustaría pelear con, eh, con Bronner porque es mejor que hay en las 35. En verdad, me gustaría pelear. He said that whatever they, they bring, but he prefer right now the best fighter out there, which is Broner, in 135 pounds. All right, congratulations on an excellent performance. Saludos en una pelea bien merecida. Okay, gracias, gracias. Thank you. Jab! <laughs> Congratulations. All right. This card also featured one of the top prospects in the world in the featherweight division, unbeaten Gary Russell Jr. He remains unbeaten. He won nearly every second of every round against Vucislav Gusev of Russia. But for Russell, who's not a big puncher anyway, he hurt his left hand. We don't know whether or not it was broken. He had to go to the uh, doctors for x-rays, but a very nice performance by a pretty much one-armed Gary Russell Jr. who remains unbeaten. Reporting from the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas, for Fight Now TV, I'm James Smith.